Fiddler for Bear, you grow too forward, sir. Have you so soon forgotten the entertainment? Her sister Catherine welcomed you with all. But Raylan Pettit, this is the patroness of Heavenly Harmony. Then give me leave to have prerogative. When in music we have spent an hour, your lecture shall have leisure for as much. Preposterous ass! That never read so far. To know the cause why music was ordained, was it not to refresh the minds of man after his studies or his usual pain? Then give me leave to read philosophy, and while I paused, to serve in your heart. Sire, I will not bear these graves of thine. Why, gentlemen, you do me double wrong to strive for that which respecting my choice. I am no breaching scholar in the schools. I'll not be tied to hours nor pointed times, but learn my lessons as I please myself, and cut off all strife here so be done. Take your instrument, play you the wiles, his lecture done ere you have to. You'll leave his lecture when I am in tune? That will be never. Tune your instrument. Where left we lie? Here, madame. Hic ibat simois. Hic est. Sige tellus. Hic stedet. Priae. Rege celsa senis. Concert. Hic ibat, as I told you before. Simois. I am Lucentio. Hic est, son to Vicentio of Pisa. Sige, tell us. Disguised thus to get your love, hic steadit it. And that Lucentio, that comes a wooing, primai, is my man Tradio, regae, bearing my port, celsa sines, that we might beguile the old pantaloon. Madam, my instrument's in tune. Let's hear it. Oh, fie, the triple jars. Spit in the hole, man, and tune again. Now let me see if I can concert. Hic ibat simos, I know you not. Hic est sigia telus, I trust you not. Hic sterat priami, take heed, he heareth not, regia, presume not, celis senes, despair not. Madam, it is now in tune. All but the bass. The bass is right, tis the name bass that shaws. How fiery and forward our pedant is. Now for my life, the knave doth court my love, pedescule. I'll watch you better yet. In time I may move, but yet I mistrust. Mistrust it not, for sure, I say it was Attix, called so from his grandfather. I must believe my master, else I promise you, I should be arguing still upon that doubt. But let it rest. Now, Lydio, to you, good master, Take it not unkindly, pray, that I have been thus pleasant with you both. You may go walk, and give me leave a while. My lessons make no music in three parts. Are you so formal, sir? Well, I must wait. And watch withal, for, but I be deceived, our fine musician grows amorous. Adieu. Madam, before you touch the instrument, to learn the order of my fingering, I must begin with the rudiments of art to teach you a gamut in a briefer sort, more pleasant, pithy, and effectual than has been taught by any of my trade. And there it is, in writing fairly drawn. Why well, I am past my gamut long ago, yet read the gamut of Hortensio. Gamut, I am the ground of all accord, to plead Hortensio's passion. Bianca, take him for thy lord, that loves with all affection. One cleft, two notes have I, show pity or I die. Call you this a gamut? Tut, I like it not. Old fashions please me best, I am not so nice, to change true rules for odd inventions. Mistress. Your father prays you leave your books and help to dress your sister's chamber up. You know tomorrow is the wedding day. 
Farewell, sweet masters both. I must be gone. But I have cause to pry into this pedant. Methinks he looks as though he were in love. Yet if thy thoughts be, Bianca, be so humble, to cast thy wandering eyes on every stale. If once I find thee, ranging Hortensio will be quit with thee by changing. In Act 3, Scene 1 of the play The Taming of the Shrew by William Shakespeare, Bianca reveals her genuine characteristics by exerting her authority over the two school teachers. Lucentio disguised Cambio and Hortensio disguised as Lydio. The scene takes place in Baptista Manuel's house. The wedding day is fast approaching. Each school teacher vies for Bianca's attention. The characters in the scene are Lucentio disguised as Cambio. Hortensio, disguised as Lydio, Bianca, and the servant. In this scene, Bianca shows how she acts differently around different groups of people. Bianca acts proper and innocent around her suitors and her father to gain power and manipulate them. However, around her schoolmasters, she is dominant and harsh. Quote, I am no breaching scholar in the schools. I'll not be tied to hours nor pointed times but learn my lessons as I please myself." Unquote. Act 3, Scene 1, Lines 18 through 20. Bianca's actions develop the themes that women only get their power from men and the theme that some women, er, that all women are manipulative, manipulative to live. Bianca is also, also reveals uh, to not be the ideal woman everyone thinks that she is. You're too imposing. Do you remember how Catherine welcomed your lessons? But schoolmaster, this is the angel of heaven. Give me an hour to teach her music and you will get equal time. Ridiculous ass. You don't even know why music was created. Was it not to refresh the minds of men after he was uh, completing his studies? I will not tolerate your insults. Teachers, teachers. You both do me wrong in trying to decide what's ultimately not your choice. I'm not a studying scholar in the schools, and I won't be tied to hours or appointed times by you. But learn my lessons as I please. And to cut off all strife, here's the thought down. That's good. That's good. Right. Okay, we'll get yourself back, Fiddler. Wait. Thomas, we already have... Hold yourself back, Fiddler. You're too imposing. Do you remember how Catherine reacted to your lessons. But schoolmaster, this is the angel of heaven. Give me an hour to teach her music and I will give you the same amount of time to teach her your lectures. Ridiculous ass. You're not even educated enough to know why music was made. It was made to help the minds of man after their daily tolls and studies. So allow me to read philosophy and teach her when I am finished, you can have your lesson. I will not tolerate these insults. Teachers, you're both wrong. To, to try to decide what's ultimately my choice. I'm no studying scholar in schools, and I won't be tied to hours or appointed times. But I'll learn my lessons as I please. And to cut, but stop the arguing. Take your instrument in tune. When you're done tuning, he'll be done. You'll leave? His lessons when I'm in tune? That will never happen. Go tune your instrument. Where did we leave off? Uh, here. Hic ibat simois, hic est, sigera telus, hic sterat, plumae, regea, salsa senis. Translate. Hic ibat. As I told you before, simois, I am Lucentio. Hic est, the son of Vincentio of Pisa. Sige Telus, disguised to woo you. Hic Sterat, and that the Lucentio that comes to try and get you. Primae, is but my servant Tranio. Rige, disguised as me, Celsa Sanus, so that we might fool the old man. 
Madam, I'm done tuning my instrument. What's here? Oh god, it's out of tune. Tune it again. Now let me see if I can translate it. Hik ibat simuts. I don't know you. Hik est sige telus. I don't trust you. Hik starat primai. Don't let him hear us. Brigai, presume not. Selsa senes. Do not despair. Madam, it's now in tune. Everything is good but the bass. The bass is fine. You're out of tune. How straightforward our teacher is. Now he's trying to take my love. Little teacher, I'll watch you. In time I may believe you, but still I do not trust you. Don't not trust me. For sure, a Sadie's, it was Ajax, but called so from his grandfather. You're my teacher, so I have to believe you. I don't want to argue with you, so let's just let it go. Now, Lydia, I hope you're not angry that I haven't been attentive to both of you. You can walk, and let, uh, leave me alone for a while. I can't teach you music in three parts. Well, you're very formal. Well, I'll wait and watch. And unless I'm being tricked, it seems that the musician Lydio is loving Bianca. Madam, before you touch the instrument, in order to learn music, I must begin with the basics of art. And I will teach you a gamut that is briefer and more pleasant. Madam, before you touch the instrument and learn the order of my fingering, I must teach you the basics of art. I will teach you a gamut or a musical scale that is briefer and more pleasant than that was taught by any of my kind. Here, it's written out fairly well. But I've learned this long ago. You haven't read the gamut of Hortensio yet. I'm the basics of all accord. To plead for Hortensio's love. Bianca, take him for your husband, that loves him with all affection. I have one clef and two notes. Show me pity, or I'll die. You call this a gamut? I don't like it at all. Old fashions are the best for me. I'm not so nice to change the true rules of gamut writing for your odd inventions. Bianca. Your father wants you to leave this studying and help decorate your sister's room because you know tomorrow's the wedding day. I understand. Goodbye, both of my teachers. I must leave. Then I have no more reason to stay. But I have cause to pry into this little teacher. I think he looks as though he were in love. But if your thoughts, Bianca, are so humble to cast your eyes on every decoy. Let anyone who wants to capture you, if I find you untrue, I will ca get you, even if I have to get someone else to do it. The manner in which Bianca acts and behaves towards members of the lower class in the scene reinforces the theme that women are manipulative. 